Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about a little problem that I have. Let me show you. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. I have a whole problem. So, I read the Akatar series and it was amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing. I cried, I I was holding back for so long, so long, because I was like, nah, it's not gonna be good. Or like, it's, you know, I don't like those kinds of books. You know, no, 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 no. I was so wrong. And like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna be straight up. I have not read Throne of Glass. I will at some point, right now, Right now I'm reading Serpent and Dove because I literally, I needed to read something else and I am not going to wait like three months until A Court of Silver Flames comes out because I need to be reading something. So, but like, I'm so excited for the book. I, I literally have three copies on order. Yeah, three copies of the same book on order. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so it was the first Sarah J Maas series I read and it's so good like I knew a little bit of spoilers from like TikTok book talk but like it was it was, it was amazing it was amazing it was so good oh my gosh I literally can't like I like just go read it like don't just just go just go like <sighs> i'll leave it linked below just just buy it no like if you're hesitant like just go and read the first book go and read the first book and then read the second book the second book is amazing so the second book like <sighs> i have never like thought that like a second book would be better than the first until i read the series the second book is everything everything you yeah. know so if you don't know this book is about a girl her name is Feyre she lives with her two sisters and her dad in her village in the human world their world is divided by humans and fairies and it's like divided by like a literal border like a wall and yeah and the fairy land is called prithian and we're gonna you're gonna discover what happens when pharaoh meets magic <laughs> I'm so bad at descriptions, but like, you, like once you read it, you'll understand what I mean, and you should read it. Like, uh, this whole video is literally me telling you to go read it if you haven't, and if you have, well then, you know my pain. Like, the pain that I suffered reading this. <laughs> The tears reading this and this. <laughs> yeah. I suffered a lot. And those were happy tears and sad tears. Like at some point I was just like, where is the where is the like I thought I ran out of tears. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I saw the next chapter and I was, no, no. I was a mess on the floor. I literally, there were like tea, like, I think I finished this at like two in the morning, like the series. And I was, I was just a mess. Oh my gosh. And then I was like, this book hurt me. Like it just, it made me, <laughs> it made me 
have hope. It made me have hope in the world again. No, I'm just kidding. I have a hope in the world. It's just that uh, this, 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 this gave me hope. <laughs> you know? And, you know, just, I can't recommend it enough. It is, oh, I forgot to say. So it's the, the first book is, what is it? A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. It is um, a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. And it's great. Like, obviously you could tell the parallels, but like, at some point I was like, who is who? Because, oh my gosh, so much happens. And then Cordemus and Fury is the second book. It is amazing, 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 amazing. I never like leave notes or anything, but I literally have one note. And then the third book, which is A Chord of Wings and Ruin. It's gonna break your soul. I didn't think it would, but it did. It will, it will. <clears throat> and then we have A Chord of Frost and Starlight. This is like 3.5, 3.1. You know what I mean? Like, it's not the fourth book, but it's just like a short story of it. And I didn't know that there was literally like, hold on, like the literal book ends there. And there's a whole little thing outside. I was like, what is this? And it was like a sneak peek into Court of Silver Flames, I think. And like a Q and A. And I was just like, when I read, okay, we're gonna get real for a second. I, when I heard that they were, Making a book about, oh, I can't say this. A, a book about, you know, like, okay, spoiler. A book about, spoiler alert right now. A book about Cassie and Anesta. I was like, like, is it gonna be good? <laughs> like, I know they have chemistry and I know like they like, like each other but like is it gonna be good and especially in this book it was kind of like what is going on I, i'm just like what is going on in, with the world anyway so um yeah i was like is it is it is it gonna be good <laughs> like i was a little scared a little scared and then i read li the ending of this and i was like I want this book right now, right now. And what is it? It's October, November, December, January, February. Four months? You want me to wait four months? That book is literally, I'm pretty sure, either I'm gonna finish it in one day or two days and then my heart's gonna hurt for the rest of the year. And then I heard, um, yeah, another spoiler. I heard that like, they're making a book about, what is it, Azrael? and Elaine or Elaine herself and I'm like what but like what do they have to do with each other like she's over she should be over there with like you know but like is it just not gonna work out like I'm so confused I just want to know more about their relationship yeah. like I just I just I need answers to a lot of questions that I have. And I hope Silver Flames answers at least a few of them. Or like, I just wanna see where their relationship goes. I know Nesta is going to grow in this book, but I hope it's in the right way. <laughs> like, I want her to, you know, go back to life when, you know, she was, she acts strong, but she's not. And I need, I want her to become like strong not again because she's always been hurting but like I want her to get to be with okay with her Ugh. I want her to be okay with herself and that you know life happens but like you gotta get back on track at some point and if Cassian is the one to help her then then okay then then it's gotta be done, you yeah. know? Anyway, so, 
this is me ran not ranting because i didn't even rant but like as a public service announcement to you guys to read a court of thorns and roses right now right now if you don't read well then read it just 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 do it like you you got nothing to lose you really don't and then and come back and like cry with me yeah so yeah also this was not sponsored in any way i bought everything with my own money and um i also i recommend this book 100 percent if you are above the age of 17 let's just say 17 i yeah yeah beware beware just beware <laughs> I recommend a 17, 17 year olds and up, please. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Um, so I don't care if you like it or not. I worked really hard on this, so make sure you like it. This is not- okay, well, after I made the reaction video, <laughs> I went on TikTok and I saw, I saw someone said, okay, this is a big spoiler, big spoiler, well, sort of, yeah, that, um, that they, that there's a theory, <laughs> if it's true, I'm a faint, they say that, um, re- Reese's sister is actually alive and that's Azrael's mate. <laughs> Why did I never think of that? Why? Like, no. Do you think? No. I don't know. Now that, like, I can't stop thinking about it now. Who is it? Um... I don't know who the girl was that posted the TikTok, but anyway, great. Thanks for getting in my getting it in my head too. Anyway, I can't stop thinking about it now. And if that were to happen, I'd cry. Asriel deserves deserves love. He deserves it so much. Oh, he's so gentle. Even though, like, you know. He can kill people and fight. He's he's a gentle soul. Oh, Stan. Stan. Anyway, I'd literally cry if that was true. And it would be good for Reese because, you know, he feels so... He feels like his spoiler sister's mom and death is like his fault. I'm like, it is me. <laughs> he feels so bad. <laughs> I want a Reese. I want a Reese so bad. But there's just a bunch of Tamlins. <sighs> Why? Anyway. I don't know. I just felt like I needed to share this with someone. And now that it's out there in the world, I can't stop thinking about it. But at the same time, like, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to read a book. And it's true, and I'm over here, like, like, not shocked, but, like, at the same time shocked. Because if, if I didn't know that, then I would have thrown the book across, across the, what is it? Across the room and been like, what? You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to say that.